In the social and political climate of the 21st century, mankind is truly facing some very great challenges. Many of them made all the more difficult due to the fact that they are challenges that go mostly unnoticed by the vast majority of people. The vast majority of people in the world today only perceive the world the way it appears on the surface. However, the real truth is that the world that we live in today is actually very different to that which most people perceive it to be. Because just below the surface of everyday life, beneath the social and political distractions of the reality offered to the masses via their television, there exists another world. The world that most people perceive is simply a facade. It is an illusionary reality where nothing is what it seems. It is a world where our social system is designed to foster division, our education system is designed to conceal knowledge. Our health system is designed to create sickness. Our financial system is designed to steal wealth. Our community is designed to create disunity. And our very civilization itself is wholly uncivilized. We live in a world where 2% of the population controls 98% of the global resources while the other 98% of people are left to compete against each other in order to gather some small fraction of the other 2% that is left to them in order to support their lives and their families. In fact, the world of today is so disjointed and so out of balance that the most amazing part of it all is that there are actually people who cannot seem to see it. And this is because the systems of control that have been put in place to blind people to the true realities of our world have been very cleverly and very meticulously constructed. Though much of our society may appear to be free on the surface, if the truth be known, mankind is actually far from free. We are simply free range. For the world of modern times is actually a very controlled place. But the situation is not wholly lost, for the simple truth is that mankind has allowed their servants to take over the mansion, and these public servants have worked and are continuing to work to steal everything of value that they can from the people, while gradually enslaving the world to a set of rules of their own contrivance. Legislation that has been cleverly designed to remove actual law from the planet and impose in its stead the will of individuals. When one puts all the pieces of the puzzle together on the table, the chemtrails, the harp arrays that are appearing all over the planet, the promotion of wireless technology, the smart meters, the introduction of repressive legislation such as Codex Alimentarius, the mandatory use of Monsanto genetically modified food, the destruction of the water table, the introduction of brain-inhibiting toxins such as fluoride into people's diets, it becomes quite evident that the ruling factions on this planet are actively engaged in the genetic modification of all life on this planet in order to further the transhumanist agenda. It is being done quite deliberately and quite purposefully, and it is being done with neither the knowledge nor the consent of the vast majority of mankind. And all the evidence needed to support this conclusion is right before your eyes, if people would simply take the time to look. The truth is that everything we are facing is visible in plain sight, and so is its inevitable conclusion. It's just that people tend to focus on their own little symptom and never step back to view the entire structure of our world holistically, and thus our response to the problem is compartmentalized, essentially rendering it ineffective. And this is all done by design, because in addressing their respective symptoms, people are trained to believe they have to work within the parameters of the system, rather than addressing the actual root of the problem. Every single government that exists anywhere in the world today is currently operating in breach of the trust that has been granted to it by the people of their nation. 
And this is true regardless of which country we are talking about. It is true whether it is a government consisting of duly elected politicians claiming to act in the best interest of the people, whether they are acting out of greed or whether they are simply acting through their belief that the system is real. It is true whether it is a military dictatorship falsely declaring a self-granted right to dictate what is good for others. It is true whether it consists of a monarchy that has declared its divine right to rule and supposedly care for its subjects. Because the reality is that every single government or ruling body in the world today is abusing the power granted to it by the people of the nation it governs. Exhibit A. The Earth. The remedy is for mankind to re-establish themselves as who and what they are, because the only ones who have any chance of addressing this situation are the people themselves. The first thing to be done is for people to notice their surroundings and to realize that very simple alternatives to the wantonly destructive direction of our current system exist right now. 